Ladies and gentlemen, I was just halfway through editing my Doncaster match preview and Bradford City have confirmed another departure. Emmanuel Sadiwe has left Bradford City and joined fellow League 2 side Forest Green Rovers for an undisclosed fee. And in today's video, I'll be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news. If you do go on to enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on their form. If you could try and get 80 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below. For me personally, I think this is a brilliant move for Bradford City. The fact we've managed to get a fee in as well for Osadibi makes it even better. He seemed like a pretty nice person to be fair, but in terms of his football ability, he really, really liked it. He was never, ever good enough to play for Bradford City. He had a decent pre-season last year, but apart from that, his Bradford City career just simply has not worked out. And I think this is the best move for all parties. More than likely, Forest Green will go on and get relegated this season. He will be playing in the National League next year, and he might look a little bit better at that level, but certainly nowhere near good enough to play it for Bradford City. So make sure to drop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you're new as well, and let's get into it. So for once, we've had some transfer business come completely out of the blue. A lot of it recently has been rumoured before that something has officially been confirmed, but I'm very, very excited by this news. Probably the most welcome news so far alongside Tyreek Wright signing because Osadibe for me was just nowhere near good enough. Bradford City tweeted today at 6.30pm saying Emmanuel Osadibe has completed a permanent transfer to Forest Green Rovers for an undisclosed fee. Thank you for your efforts and all the very best money. The article does then read Osadibe departs Bantams. Emmanuel Osadibe Sadibe has completed a permanent transfer to Forest Green Rovers for an undisclosed fee. The midfielder arrives at the University of Bradford Stadium in the summer of 2022. He made 33 appearances in Clare and Amber, finding the net on two occasions. Bradford City AFC would like to thank Emmanuel for his service to the club and wish him the very best for the future. Now, with him obviously signing for another club, Forest Green Rovers tweeted today at 6.30pm saying we are delighted to announce the signing of Emmanuel Sadibe on a permanent transfer from Bradford City. Their article does then read, Osadibe is a green. Midfielder joins from Bradford City. We are delighted to announce the signing of midfielder Emmanuel Osadibe on a permanent transfer from Bradford City. The 6 foot 2 inch midfielder becomes our fifth signing of the January transfer window, following Alex Gorin, Dominic Thompson, Tommy Simkin and Maxi uh, Oyedele to the new lawn. Osadibe joined Bradford in the summer of 2022 and went on to make 33 appearances for the Bantams. He played at the new lawn in Bradford's 3-0 win against Forest Green back in November. The 27-year-old is no stranger to League 2, having made 152 appearances in the fourth tier. No idea how he's managed that, whilst also making 42 appearances in League 1. Again, no idea how he's managed that either. These appearances would come across a number of clubs, including Cambridge United, Newport County, Walsall FC and Gillingham FC, whom he could make his Rovers debut against on Saturday. Upon joining Rovers, Osadibe said, I'm delighted to be here. I want to come and help the team get back to where they should be. I'm going to bring a lot of energy and positivity. Staying up and winning games is something we can definitely make happen for sure. Osadibe will wear the number 45 shirt his time at the Rovers and obviously if you want to sponsor him then make sure to go and contact Forest Green. Now like I say I was literally in the middle of editing my Doncaster Rovers match preview when this news did officially get announced so that video will now be coming out tomorrow some things in that video now might not make sense also DB is actually included in that video as well but in terms of his time at Bradford City we obviously paid money for him from Walsall. Walsall fans warned us that he simply was not good enough then we saw him pre-season last year he looked very very good unfortunately on the opening day of last season within the first 10 minutes he unfortunately did suffer that double leg break injury which put him out until the next time we then played Doncaster Doncaster and Osadibe and it just all just seems very weird it's like everything seems to be crossing over at this moment in time but he made his return against Doncaster in the away fixture at the end of February and I feel like for the remainder of last season he got a little bit of a buy from the fans because you could understand that he wasn't going to be going in for 50-50 tackles and all that sort of stuff and he was getting the odd appearance off the bench was struggling really to get a start and and wasn't really impressing in them games but again he kind of got a little bit of a pass because of his horrendous injury that he did unfortunately suffer this season he came back in pre-season looked quite good in that game against Berry. had a couple of other half decent moments then the season started and it just got worse and worse as time went on really at Forest Adibe there was a number of occasions where fans were bewildered as to how he was even making it on the bench Graham Alexander was using him quite a lot at the start Kevin McDonald gave him a couple of appearances as well and that is when we saw the best period 
from Emmanuel Sadiba when he had two decent games for us away at Grimsby in the AFL Trophy where he scored a brilliant solo goal in. He then scored the winner as well away at AFC Wimbledon and that was a good purple patch for Sadiba under Kevin McDonald. But apart from that, his time at Bradford Sim City has simply not worked out. If you have a look at some of his statistics from that time, this season so far, he has played at the 17 at league matches, only managing the five starts, scoring one goal, averaging a goal every 610 minutes. He has missed two big chances with a 7% goal conversion rate. He had an 89% passing accuracy in his own half and a 68% passing accuracy in the opposition half. 65% of his long balls were accurate, 46% of his chip passes were accurate, and 22% of his crosses were accurate as well. His defensive stats aren't particularly great with only 0.1 interceptions per game, 0.6 tackles per game, and 0.6 clearances per game as well. He did actually manage 2.5 at balls recovered per game as well. He averaged 0.5 at dribbles per 90, only 26% of them being successful, which I think is really, really poor for a forward player. He averaged uh, 1.5 at ground duels per 90, winning only 34% of them, and 0.8 aerial duels per 90, winning only 40% of them, which is, again, very disappointing for someone who is 6 foot 2. Defensively, he's really poor. He switches off on a number of occasions, and I think that is why we had a number of different managers at Bradford City not want to play Osadibe in his natural position. He thinks his best position is a number 8 as a box-to-box -box sort of midfielder, but none of the Bradford City managers that we had, that would be Mark Hughes, Kevin McDonald, and even Graham Alexander, trusted him enough to play him in that position because defensively, he's so poor. The amount of times you see him switch off and he just lose track of his man. You cannot simply have that at this level. This is a professional football club trying very poorly, but trying to get promoted out of League 2, and Osadibe was making them sort of mistakes, and we never really got punished for them, but you could certainly see that if it continued in that way, then we were going to get punished, and we were going to start conceding goals, and that is why, for me personally, and a lot of the other Bradford fans, he just wasn't good enough to play for us, to be honest. And you think about going forward, what he actually offered to Bradford City, he could barely control the football, I mean, his first touch was basically a cross into the box, it was really, really poor, he struggled to beat a man, really, he was good at holding the ball up, and you know, he's very physical, and he likes to try and use his body to manipulate the defenders but technically he just doesn't really have much ability to be honest with you or at least he didn't show it enough at Bradford City on a consistent basis and I'm really glad that he has moved on. I feel like it's probably a good move for him as well, a fresh start away from Bradford City at a much smaller club where the fan base is not necessarily going to be on his bike as much. He's gone to a club where there's probably going to be a lot of pressure on him for because Forest Green Rovers are in a relegation battle and they look highly likely to be getting relegated. Obviously Troy Deeney recently recently announced as their new manager and I think I'm right in saying that Troy Deeney's got a four game touchline ban for apparent foul and abusive language I think he got a £1,500 fine as well so Osadibe's first four games at Forest Green he's going to be without a manager telling him what to do on the sidelines as well which I think Osadibe definitely needs someone coaching him through the game but there's going to be a lot of pressure on Osadibe to deliver can he keep Forest Green Rovers up I personally don't think so if we have a look then at how Bradford City squad is now lining up for the 23-24 campaign we are certainly trimming it down very much Graham Alexander did confirm today in his press conference, I did actually mention this in the match preview which will be coming out tomorrow obviously Rayhan Tulloch will at some point be returning to West Bromwich Albion, when that is nobody really knows at this moment in time but Alexander has said he's not going to play here so he needs to go back there and maybe try and find another low move but I think we've certainly got a lot of defensive options in there but I think that's kind of expected when we are playing a back five at the moment, lots of wingers which is actually quite good to be fair because we are now playing this 3-4-3 system, I think we could do with another striker, someone very similar to to Andy Cook who is happy to be back up if Cook does go through another poor patch in front of goal or he does potentially pick up another injury but my overall thoughts on this move then for Osadibe good for him to get a fresh start and I really do hope that he does well there because he always seemed to be a very bubbly character and I think he will bring a lot of positivity into that changing room you know Tyreek Wright when he signed said he was looking forward to seeing Osadibe the most he's probably only seen him for maybe a day two days worth of training and he's gone as well so fingers crossed for Osadibe he does work out because he's time Bradford City while I don't think he had the ability to play for us, it was never really down to a lack of effort for me, in my opinion. So I do genuinely wish Osadiba all the best, but I am glad that he has moved on because I personally just never really felt like he was good enough, apart from maybe last season in pre-season. I'm going to leave it there then for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and 80 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that would massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, 
today with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know down below what are your thoughts on Forest Green Rovers signing Emmanuel Sadibe from Bradford City for an undisclosed fee. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow for the Doncaster match preview. Peace.